All right, guys, I'm here at DSGP here for Rapids practice day before Orlando City comes to town. Got the chance to talk to Keegan Rosenberry for about 10 minutes after practice. Got his thoughts on the Mac trade, on the result of Salt Lake City. The practice looks really productive. Price was still uh, just running on the side, wasn't fully involved yet, but, uh, you know, team seemed in good spirits after the result in Salt Lake. And uh, here's my talk with Keegan. Keegan, big, big result considering 0-2 on the road after a trade, short week. What were the emotions in that in that locker room after the game? Um, yeah, it's, you know, it, it still, you know, it still was a tie. There wasn't, you know, the full amount of excitement uh, as a, you know, as after a win. But um, it was good. You know, we dug ourselves in a hole early, um, conceded early again in the second half, and. Uh, you know that that's that uh, that 2021 character that, that that really came out and that has maybe been missing a little bit this year. So um, really exciting for us, obviously against our rival as well. Um, you know, trying to get that cup and push for for another goal to actually take the cup home um, it is difficult on the road. You know, uh, to to get a result like that, but. Um, you know, hopefully the start of something for us. Hopefully the start of a run for us where we're, we're collecting more points. Yeah, I mean the the road has been tough this season. Um, did did that come up at all talking with teammates or coaches where it's like, okay, we did come back on the road. You know, can, we can build with this and move forward. Was that part of the discussion? Um, a little bit. You know, I, it's um, you know it's a difficult team. It's a difficult venue, and you know if we can do it there, obviously you know it, it proves to us that we can do it in a lot of places. Um, you know, even the draw at New York City. Um, you know, we responded with a, with a really poor performance in Portland, but at the same time, if we know we can get a point in New York City uh, against a good team against in a, in a tough place to play, you know, we can do it anywhere. Yarby uh, going out in Portland obviously was a scary moment, mm -hmm. but now you're the only guy left on the Ironman list for the team. Mm -hmm. How are you holding up? Do you feel good? Is, is it daunting to have two, uh, two games in a week when you all have played every minute so far this season? Um, yeah, I feel good. Uh, you know, I'm, again, I always uh, go back to, to, to being so fortunate to have a staff and to have a team that believes in you to select you all the time. You know, you, I, I could be training, training and playing and being the exact same player at another team and, and not get, getting a chance to see right. the field. So I'm um, just fortunate to be in a position to um, be selected quite often. And, um, you know, for me in terms of the minutes, it's, I, I've been, again, fortunate enough to play every minute before in a season, and that's a cool achievement to have. But um, but in terms of now, you know, I, I'm getting a little older. I'm, uh, you know, being more mature about yeah. maybe when to be smart about resting and when to be sure. smart about pushing it. And, and these, you know, three games in a week uh, can be difficult, especially with the run of games. So um, it, it's not really in the back of my mind anymore in terms of playing every single minute. But uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, more excited to be involved, uh, you know, every week and every game and, and trying to stay healthy, trying to stay fit and, you know, working with the staff here to, to continue to be strong and, um, you know, we're, we're only midway through the year. You know, we got a lot of games left. Yeah. Um, obviously, Mac getting traded last week, day before the game. Um, it's that's probably a lot to process with game planning for a rival and him leaving. Um, you know, how how has the locker room kind of responded to that? Um, obviously, he's probably missed with being such a, a critical piece to the team. And on top of that, have you had a chance to kind of see what prezo has been able to do and, and how he'll sort of fit in? Um, yeah, it's uh, it's difficult. It's it's part of the business. It's part of the um, part of the job, it, it there's really no way to um, to pre prepare for it. It it sucks. I mean, you know, it happened with Andre too this year. You know, uh, and and even Mark too. It's it's good friends. It's it's people you, you lose off the field that you enjoy spending time with. Uh, Mark had a Doberman. We have a Doberman that we spend a lot of time oh, okay. together. We yeah. watch his dog quite a bit, and and little things like that that you know people don't realize. But um, but more importantly, yeah, a great player. Uh, you know, we lose a, an important piece, and um, that it's not easy. But uh, you know, everybody, everybody in the sport, in the locker room, and, and in the organization is used to these kind of things. You kind of just, you know, you take it, uh, you take it on the on the one cheek, and you turn the other one, and you just kind of you put your head down, and you continue to work, and um, and and credit to the group, the the whole team. We you know we, we got a result, we got a point uh, in Salt Lake, and um, we wish Mark all the best. He was you know he helped us with a short time here, and um, you know he'll, he'll do good things for Toronto as well. Uh, I think the fans are going to want to know since you brought up the dog. What's the dog's name? Dog's name is Zaya. Zaya. Yeah. Or how Z, Z, Z for short, yeah. How old's the, how old's the dog? Uh, 11 months today. Oh, actually. so still young, yeah. still puppy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, so you're feeling good about this week, this game? You guys feeling positive going into it? Yeah, um, always excited to come back home. Obviously, the past two results here have been really disappointing. Um, so I think we have a little extra incentive, extra energy to 
um, give the home crowd uh, what they deserve and, and give ourselves what we deserve. You know, we're better sure. than the past two games have shown here. Um, Orlando's a good team. Uh, they're going to have uh, tough attacking pieces for us to defend, and um, we're ready for the challenge. We're excited. Does, so, like, last time I was here, I got to talk to you after the Nashville game, mm -hmm. um, and that was kind of another game where it's a little weird kind of result-wise, you know? Like, like, wasn't necessarily a game where you guys – we're losing per se in terms of the run of play and, and how that worked. Um, does it change after games like that where the goals seem a little like fluky or weird? Kind of how you wear that? Is it easier to, to get it off your back and move on to the next, or is it harder because it's like what the hell happened? Is it you know? Is there anything to that? Uh, I would say oh, all losses suck, suck. For, yes. for for lack of a better word. Yes. But um, losses suck. <laughs> I would say harder. Uh, fluke goals slash you know weird performances are like are like that are, are more frustrating I think in my mind just because it's like you know what were we doing you know like like sure. you know snap out of it type of thing but um, at the same time you know we had a long time to think about that we had a long break after that game we ended up going to New York City and that was our first result back which was great game uh, it, yeah it was a good showing for us it wasn't pretty but it was a, a road performance that that deserved at least a point and mm -hmm. I think that was important after such a bad showing here um, but again, it's about it's about stringing results together. And sure. after New York, the Portland game was poor. Um, so it, it's you know we're, we're constantly trying to, to build to build momentum, to build results uh, in a row. And so um, you know tomorrow's another chance at that, and uh, it's it's a necessity for us at this point. Awesome. All right, guys, that's gonna do it with Keegan. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time on DMVR Sports.